It's day one of what is effectively the most important week for the advertising industry as coveted awards are handed out and the industry itself talks about creativity and all the challenges with disruptive technology and that's a big one. Facebook and Google still have the lion's share of online revenue coming their way but now they're also encroaching on the revenue from the media agencies as marketing bosses can now effectively place ads direct with those technology platforms. So yet another challenge for the industry. Let me tell you a little bit about where the industry has come from. It was termed the Mad Men era, effectively long lunches, lots of parties, three martinis over lunch. The industry would then be uh, struck with a, a sense of creativity and then go back to the client with an amazing advertising campaign. All of this was very expensive. Now, technology is lowering the cost of doing business. There's a feeling that that Mad Men era is now over, that the advertisers need to evolve and work much more closely with the marketers. So that's a huge change coming to the industry. Also, I want to talk about what's in and what's out at Can Lines this year because it does highlight other changes in the industry. First of all, not going to Can is seen as a thing this year. Publicists, you may recall, one of the biggest advertising agencies took a 12-month hiatus from turning up to this festival. It decided to use the money to build out an AI platform to push its case forward in technology and compete with some of the big challenges. Also, just to work more effectively behind the scenes. The other big one used to be hiring women in bikinis to come to their party. Now it's about hiring a magician because I think the advertising industry itself is trying to clean up its image and move forward. And don't forget, Me Too movement has been very huge for the industry. The other big one, talking about crea creativity this year, not talking about tech. And that's quite key because there's been a real pushback against technology. Worrying about Amazon this year, not Facebook. Last year was about Facebook. This year, the challenger is Amazon. Also, instead of just talking about women's rights, everyone's marching for women's rights. So it's about doing in campaigns, not just talking through campaigns. I want to just give you a quick look about what's happening here on this famous strip on the French Riviera. You can see that some of the brands have taken over the whole promenade. Expensive real estate anyway, normally dominated by beach clubs, but about 16,000 attendees this year, some of them coming to these venues to network and have parties. We embarked upon our very own branding exercise to lift awareness of the CNBC brand. Thanks to McLaren, they lent us a car to drive around Cannes this week. We've had some key conversations about the end of the Mad Men era. I spoke to Marcus Kassan, who is the CEO and founder of MediaLink, about the change that we're seeing in the industry. Take a listen. It's funny you said 2018 because I kind of feel like we're back in 1859. <laughs> 1859? Yes, and I know I'm not that old. 1859? 1859. Was in 1859? Well, there was an interesting thing that happened in 1859. And I'm going to sound very, very literary here, but um, in 1859, Charles Dickens wrote his famous Tale of Two Cities the opening lines of which you might remember were the best of times and the worst of times. Right, yes. I think that defines our industry today. For some it's the best of times, for some it's the worst of times. Similarly in 1859, Charles Darwin wrote a rather well-known tome called The Origin of the Species, which talked about the survival of the fittest and how only those who can adapt can survive and thrive. I think 1859 feels a little like 2018. It is the best of times and worst of times, as I said, in the same industries of times. And I would agree for sure with Charles Darwin that uh, only those who can adapt can survive. So if you look at where we are today in the various in uh, industries that intersect, and the Can Lions is a perfect place to manifest that intersection, marketing, media, advertising, entertainment, and technology all coming together, and I guess if you take my 1859 uh, approach, you might agree that it's kind of a similar day. Michael Kassan there, uh, putting his life in his hands, uh, effectively hopping in the car with me to drive around Cannes and the McLaren. But we had also an interesting conversation about the change in ownership of some of the big media companies that's also having impact on the industry. And there's a big fight going on for the assets of 21st Century Fox. And I was asking uh, Michael Kassan about who he thought was going to win, whether it was going to be Brian Roberts from Comcast, the owner of this network, or whether it would be Bob Iger from Disney. And he had his money on Bob Iger. And he's worked with all of the major players, but he 
thought that Disney might just have it at the end of the day. But the other interesting point he made was that the fangs have been very silent, that Silicon Valley has not weighed into this fight for key media assets. And they think he thinks that maybe one day when the dust has settled, those tech companies sitting on a pile of cash might come in and buy some of the media assets. So shifting sands is what we're seeing in the industry from the big media companies to also the big ad agencies. And what has been very high profile in recent months was the departure of Sir Martin Sorrell from WPP. Investors uh, have been long used to his comments about the industry, the advertising recession that many players are going through. Then there was the scandalous departure that none of us really have any detail about because no one will talk about it. But uh, it does signal a shift in the industry away from dominant companies and perhaps more niche players coming back into the mix. And that's seen as important for driving creativity. The other big thing we're talking about is how you measure the effectiveness of ads. And don't forget, we're only just weeks into GDPR, new European data rules, which is making it even more challenging for the marketers to reach consumers, but even harder for the marketers to gauge the effectiveness. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.